Hey there card readers, April here on Tarot and Witchery. And today I'm gonna do that chariot spread that I promised you. This is a fun spread using the chariot card. And it's really about, it's a reading for when you want to figure out how to get momentum in an area. It could be a personal area, like you're dealing with trauma. It could be a work related thing, just wherever you're needing to have some breakthrough or figure out how you can move forward. Cause the chariot is about moving forward. If you haven't seen the chariot, video that I did, I think it's the last video I have up, I'll link it down below, then you should check that out. I think you'll find there's lots of stuff in there to think about and it'll help you to wrap your head around this spread. It's a five card spread and you can use all Oracle, all tarot, but I think it's good to use tarot and Oracle because that's the way I roll. Before I jump into it, I wanna let you know that you can get a free copy of the PDF printable of this in my new learning library. I was having all of you just sign up for my newsletter or go to a page to get it, and it was too cumbersome. So when you sign up for my newsletter, you get access to the learning library. And so you sign up, you're automatically directed to the learning library page where it just has a list of all the different things that are on there and you can just click on the one you want to print and print it. Um, and then if you're on the newsletter every week, there will be a link to the learning library in there so that you can get back or you can bookmark it and go back there whenever you want. But it will be always in the newsletter so that those of you who are signed up don't have to go sign up again because that would be stupid. So if you're on the newsletter, then you've probably already received a printout of this already. All right, so again, this is for when you want to get some momentum in your life in an area and you just need something to kind of spark your mind and thinking in a different direction. First of all, think about that traditional chariot card. You have the man in the chariot and then you have the two horses in front drawing the carriage. So keep that in mind. So you're gonna to wanna to shuffle your deck, start off by shuffling your deck. Wow, not throwing it all over. Shuffle your deck and think about your situation. And you know, you're really asking yourself how you can move forward, whatever it is. So it could be a relationship, could be a job thing, could be personal shadow work, just something where you want to, to figure out how you can constructively move forward. Turn the deck over and find the chariot. Oh, it's right there, isn't that lucky, okay. Okay, there's my chariot right there. I don't really wanna look at the cards that I'm about to pull out, okay? Cause you're gonna be tempted to look ahead. Don't do that. The card beneath the chariot is my black horse. Yeah, I'm gonna see it for a second, but I'm gonna take it and put it face down. I'm gonna put it right there. That's your black horse. This is your subconscious. This is the subconscious flow of the situation that is occurring at the moment. Then there's the card on top. I'm gonna to take it and put it face down, right? It's the white horse. This is the conscious working. This is what you consciously know, but put it face down. Then I'm gonna take my chariot out. Thank goodness I didn't get that ton of swords. Um, then I'm gonna take my chariot out and I'm gonna put it off to the side because we're just working that and this is the anchor point. This is your anchor card. This is what we're talking about. We're trying to create this flow. We're trying to create that energy of directing our power, making choices in which way we wanna go, yoking these two things together so that we can have forward momentum, okay? Now, you're gonna turn it over and reshuffle. Go ahead and reshuffle and think about where am I at right now with the situation? Where am I at? And you're gonna pull that and you're gonna put that one face up. And so, you guys, I am not doing a personal reading here. <laughs> um, if you guys ever want me to do a personal reading, let me know down below if you'd like me to talk about the cards and what they mean to me and what I'm thinking about. But this is where I'm at right now. You know, okay, I mean, look at this. You've got nine of swords. Like, if this were me, then I would obviously, I'm thinking it to death, you know. But this is currently where I'm at in this situation, right? So, okay. So there's that card right there. The next card that you want to draw, and you're gonna put it again face down, your dust card. So this is what you're leaving behind in the dust. You know what, let me pull this out. All right, now we got some room. Your dust card, this is what you're leaving behind or what you need to leave behind in this situation in order to, to get that forward momentum. So go ahead and think about, you know, what do I need to let go of? What do I need to leave in the dust? What's behind me? Put that face down. 
this is going to be the last card that you look at. And I think it's always important to do this card last because letting go is something that's easier for us to do when we know what we can do. It, it's just become something that feels attainable. At this point, you're gonna grab an Oracle deck. This is what I would do, but you could, you could still do tarot if you wanted to do tarot. That would be fine. Um, I would suggest an Oracle deck that you feel when you work with it, it really, wow, that's not good. It really releases you into yourself. Like you feel like it tells you what you need to hear in order to be activated. That's really important because our last card is our power card. This is the card that's going to tell you how to direct your energies. How can you use what's going on right here in order to direct these energies here? And you can go ahead and place this face down as well. I like placing things face down because there's a sense of like unwrapping a gift. <laughs> But maybe some of you don't like that. Maybe you just wanna go ahead and put them face up and then come back. If it's too overwhelming to you, then just do this. So this would be that card right there. So I want you to see this here. This is you, the chariot driver. This is kind of the reins, your power. This is like how you're getting your power directed down here to these horses. And again, this is what's behind you. Like this is the dust behind the chariot. Let's just look at these cards as a temp reading here. And let's say this is for business. Like you wanna move forward in your business. Looks like right now, you know, you're overthinking it. It's just like all that's on your mind and you're negative. You're not coming from a place where you can, you're, you're looking down, you're not seeing that there's like dawn, but like it's coming, there's light. So, you know, let's see what's going on here on the subconscious level. You've got justice. So for me, I'm like, okay, you really need to bring some balance. There's uh, the, the undercurrent is one that's like, hey, things are right and just, things balance out, things work well when we come to a place where we find equilibrium. And I think beneath the surface, there is equilibrium waiting for you in your business. But when you're up here in your head, like right now, that doesn't work. That's not, you know, you're trying to get from point A, if this is like, what do I do in my business and I want to move forward? This is the stagnant self right here spinning out, spinning out, no good. And you need to really go deep and pull on those reserves that call you into a place where you have equilibrium and it's less about all or nothing. Cause a lot of times when we're up here, we're in an all or nothing. And then over here, this is on the surface here, what's really available, the conscious mind, and you've got the six of pentacles. Oh, I mean, this is great. The idea of equal exchange. So here you are, you're driving the chariot and you're trying to get from here to abundance, right? In your business, or maybe there's a specific thing that you have for your business, but I did general business here. What kind of power can I wield during this time right now to activate these two forces, balance, equilibrium, equal exchange in my business? And what do I get? I get North Star. Now to me, I'm, I could, I have a book and I would look up the book thing here. As a matter of fact, I'll just push pause and do that. So this is actually just what I thought it would be, North Star. <clears throat> I'm gonna read you this just because I thought it was cool. Now imagine, this is the power that I use in order to activate these two things right here. And it says, how do we seek guidance and find our way in such a world of so many possibilities? By following the light of our North Star, the abiding source of light, direction, and orientation that leads us forward, the source of knowing, clarity, and clarity that we can look to when we've wandered off the trail. Our North Star is always present, always patiently waiting for us when we've forgotten that it's there, shining steadfastly in the daylight and darkness alike, and in the, de and in the depths of our own hearts always. Um, and then I love this deck because it has questions. But to me, I need to turn back. I really need to turn away from this. I need to get my eyes fixed on the source that's within me, the guidance. Remember that I am connected to source at all times, that I'm never disconnected. I am always a part of my personal divinity that is hooked up and is a part of the divine source of all abundance. And when I turn towards that, then I'm gonna move into a realm of trust 
And it's going to be easier for me to find equilibrium in my life or equal exchange. There's a lot of equality going on here. When I'm not up in this place of distrust, this is a place of incredible distrust. So turning towards trusting myself and trusting the divine, trusting that there is guidance there for me. And I also, in, in, since this is a business reading, I would say moving myself towards remembering why I started this and keeping my eyes on the horizon. When you drive a tractor, because I drive tractor around here on the farm, when you drive a tractor, you do not look straight down on the ground at what's next, which is kind of what's happening here. Like, oh, I'm spinning out. You actually fix your point your, your eyes to a point on the horizon and you follow that or you will not drive a straight line on that tractor. You will go all over. So I feel like fixing that point a little bit farther away. Okay, what am I leaving in the dust? Because I'm curious on this one here. Page of Swords. To me, this is talking about like just trying to gather more information, like get over that stop gathering information start moving away from that get out of the mental realm where it's all about trying to figure it out again in the head too much move into the place of the heart where i'm connected to trust and connected to source and all things and then that undercurrent of things are just just and right and true things work out for me things are there is equality there is balance available to me in my work life becomes evident and becomes the undercurrent, that current that's taking me forward towards what I want in my business. And again, to, towards equal exchange. On the surface, that's what business is about, right? Equal exchange. And that is readily available to me. The things that are on the surface are readily available to me, especially when I trust. When we place ourselves in a place of distrust, we really tend to move away from that and um, create resistance to flow. And again, the chariot up here reminds us that when I look at all this, it's really about creating flow. It's really about bringing these two together, yoking myself and making sure that my mind is in one accord. And then I know which way I want to go, that I'm following my North star, right? So use that chariot and all the things about the chariot in order to get you in this reading to seeing the cards in the light of bringing flow. So I'm flowing away from overthinking. I'm flowing away from planning. And when I'm flowing away from planning, I'm flowing towards doing. I'm flowing in the flow of making things happen or allowing things to happen the way that they need to instead of overthinking it. Again, if you haven't seen the Chariot 2023 video, you should check that out because it'll give you a lot to think about as far as working this spread. I really think this is a great spread for all throughout the year. And it can also help you become more acquainted with the chariot by finding it and using it as your compass, as your lens, you know, putting the lens of how am I creating momentum? How am I creating unity within myself? How am I bringing things together and balancing the two forces within me in order to move towards what it is that I want? Again, pushing away. And for me, this is a theme for my year. If you want to hear about my year, and my word for the year and how I have planned that out and put that into my magical planner, you can check out my other channel, which is Natural Witchery. I have a video up on that. Over. I talk all about that and I talk about flow this year and really trying to maximize the chariot in relationship to my personal word for the year. Until we meet again, may the cards speak to you and may you have the bravery to dive in and just do